Welcome to the third redstone lesson and today I want to talk about repeaters and ticks. So let's hop in. The first use of repeaters can you see over here. I got a redstone torch which lights up this redstone line and I told you in the first episode that the redstone only travels 15 blocks. So if I want to light up this redstone lamp I have to extend the signal some uh, in some way and I can do it by placing down a repeater over here because a repeater will um, get an, if it gets an input of any signal strength it will produce a signal strength of 15 in its front again and I can light up this redstone lamp. As you can see I can change this repeater with right clicking and these two tr torches change so what does it mean? That I will show you over here. Because over here I got the redstone connected directly. Then the first, second, third and fourth setting. So if I press the button you can see that the redstone lamps light up in a order from the left to the right and also when they go off it goes from the left to the right. So the left one over here got light up instantly because it's directly connected. Then there's something in Minecraft that's called ticks. There are 20 ticks in the game per second and every second tick there's also a redstone tick. So we have 10 redstone ticks per second. And a redstone tick you can see over here is the difference between these two because the repeater got one tick delay and the lamp will uh, turn on, on one tick after this one. This repeater got two ticks delay so the third one will turn, off, uh, will turn on one tick after this one and two ticks after this one. If I have ten uh, lamps over here with ten ticks delay the uh, last one will turn on one second after the first one. So if I hit the button again you can see that we have different delays on this lamps. The same goes for redstone torches. In the last episode I told you something about them. What I didn't uh, told you was that redstone tor torches also got one tick delay. You can see it if I press this button the back one will turn on with a delay. So I have just redstone torch which uh, turns off this one, which turns on this one and so on. And here we have four ticks delay between the two torches, uh, the two lamps, because we have four torches. So before I talk about delay again, I want to show you another function of the repeater which is the log function, which is the newest one in the game. So normally I can power the lamp by hitting the lever, of course. But if I power a repeater from the side with another repeater, I can lock it. So if I power this one, this one will get locked and I can flick the lever as I want, the lamp won't turn on. If I uh, give the repeater free again, the repeater can give the sig signal through and the redstone lamp turns on. The same goes when I um, lock a repeater when it's powered. The power will stay, it don't matter what I do with this lever. So this function can be used to create short pulses, but that's something for another episode. The next thing what I want to tell you is about pulse length because uh, you may have noticed that when I press this button over here it will turn on for a moment and then turn off. But I want to know uh, how long does a button stay on so I can um, get it when I hit the button and feed the pulse into a long line of one tick repeater. Because if I hit it, 
and then I look at it and press F10. So now you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 repeaters are lit up. So every repeater got one tick and that's in total 10 ticks. So a button gives me, gives me a signal of 10 ticks. If I change the stone button to a wood button and press it and press F10 again, you may see that there are now 15 repeaters lit up. So the wood button have 15 ticks delay and or a signal of 15 ticks, so one and a half second. And keep that in mind when you play around with redstone and especially pulse length. Then the next thing is over here. I have to change this quickly, so um, over here that's a pulse shortener which will give me a one tick pulse. I won't explain it in this episode what it does. Um, so we have a one tick pulse and feed it into a line of repeater. What happens when I change this repeater over here to two ticks? When I press the button and I will press F10 so we can see it. You can see that we now have a two tick pulse. So if the pulse is shorter than the delay of the repeater, the repeater will make this pulse longer. So one tick pulse over here, two tick repeater will give us a two tick pulse. If I change it to three ticks, of course, we get a three tick pulse and four ticks will get a four tick pulse. If you want to get a longer pulse than four ticks, we have to uh, make a bigger circuit where we put repeaters next to each other, but I won't explain this as well. What I want to tell you is now uh, what happens if I have four ticks and two ticks. You might think, oh, then we have six ticks maybe, but that's not true. We got again four ticks because um, we have a four tick pulse over here and four ticks is bigger than two ticks so this repeater only gives two ticks delay and makes nothing to the pulse length. Another thing that's important is with the redstone torches because when I give a one tick pulse into a redstone torch nothing happens. A redstone torch can't handle one tick pulses. But if I put a two tick pulse into a redstone torch, we will get a two tick pulse as well. Same goes for three and four ticks, but keep in mind that a torch can't handle one tick pulses. Then over here, I got a little circuit with uh, two repeaters on two ticks, so four ticks delay and one repeater on four ticks, so also that's four ticks delay. If I press this button, you can see that the lamps turn on at the same time and off at the same time, and it's four ticks delay to the um, button over here. But if I feed in a one tick pulse, you can see that they turn on on the same time, but this one turns on uh, off first. That's because we have a one tick pulse over here and then over here it gets to a two tick pulse. This repeater does nothing, then make a delay of two ticks. So we get a, f a two tick pulse with four ticks delay on this lamp. And over here we got a one tick pulse coming into this repeater which is four ticks. So we have a four tick pulse with four ticks uh, delay. So this lamp will get lit twice as long as this one because of the delays of the repeater. So now you might ask where can I use the pulse lengths and delays on repeaters or something? Do I need them? Or And I will give you an example for that. Over here I got two pistons stacked on each other. So we get a sticky piston and a normal piston. And I want to extend both. So I can stay up here. 
and then I want to retract both again and if I retract the button one first and then the top one this one stays up over there but if I retract the upper one first and then the down one we will get the pistons like this again and to do it with redstone if I power them at the same time like this these w this one will stay up there but if I power this one with two ticks delay it will stay on two ticks longer than the upper one and I can retract both of them so I think that's it for this redstone lesson again just play around with it and if you come up with any questions feel free to ask in the comments or send me a PM and I will try to answer it if you have any suggestions what I should do in one of the next lessons let me know as well and I will say thanks for watching and until next time Bye.